Find the closed form solutions of axy double prime plus y equals zero about the uh, point x equals zero. Okay, so first uh, let's show that x equals zero is a regular singular point. In that case, we can say there is a series solution for this differential equation. And now we compare this equation, okay, the given equation with the standard equation and we get that px equals x and that x becomes zero when x equals zero. Uh, that means x equals zero is a singular point. And now we find these two limits. Okay, limit x to zero, x minus zero, that's our point by the way. And this is also the point. It could be x equals one, then we would be writing x equals one, x minus one. And qx over px, evaluate this limit, we get zero. Uh, similarly, evaluate this limit, x to zero, x minus zero is squared, rx over px, and we get zero. So both limits exist, that means x equals zero is a regular singular point. Now we assume y equals sum a n x n plus r, r is to be determined, okay, a n x n plus r be a solution. Now we want to plug this into the original differential equation, which is here. Okay, for we find the first derivative, n equals zero, find the second derivative, n equals zero, and plug in here. So pretty much x times y double prime, so multiply this y double prime by x. So multiply means you can combine the exponents, this becomes n plus r minus one, when multiplied by x, plus y, this. So we get that equals zero, okay? Now, this is n plus r minus one. Let's make this same n plus r minus one. So subtract one here, subtract one here. You wanna add one. Okay, so we get this. And uh, this is starts from one equals one. This is n equals zero. So let's evaluate this for n equals zero. For n equals zero, we get this. Now the same thing the remaining sum from one through infinity. Now we can combine these two. Both series start at n equals one, and they have x raised to n plus r minus one, x raised to n plus r minus one, okay? And by the way, this outside r, r minus one, this polynomial, uh, this is, by the way, this is indicial polynomial, and we denote that by fr. So let fr, f of r be r, r minus one, Okay, then this is a naught ax r minus one fr and this becomes this part n plus r n plus r minus one look r r minus one this is just n more so this becomes f n plus r and we have written the same thing here now in the next step we're going to combine these two okay uh, we then x raised to n plus r minus one is common so in the middle f of n plus r a n plus a n minus one now we are saying this whole thing equals zero and this a naught constant is not zero if we take a naught zero then the solution will be trivial so a naught not equal to zero that makes x is positive by the way uh, f r is zero that makes f r zero and this expression here that is zero Okay, f of n plus r a n plus a n minus one equals zero. And by the way, this is true for n bigger than or equal to one. And when we solve this f r zero, where f r is here, we get two different values of r, one and zero. So we, they are here. These are the roots for the initial equation. And from here, we solve for a n, move this over minus a n minus one and divide by f of n plus r. And this is true for n bigger than or equal to one. And this is known as recurrence relation. Now, we wanna plug in couple of values to find the general form of this recurrence relation. Take n equals one, n equals two, n equals three, and you will see after some time a pattern and we can write down the general term, okay? So when we take 
n equals 1, we get a1 equals negative a0 over f r plus 1. Take a, uh, n equals 2, we get a2, that's negative a1 over f of r plus 2. And this a1 is found in the previous step. Now replace a1 by a0 over f r plus 1, negative, negative, positive. You don't have to write. Then a0 over f r plus 2 and f r plus 1. Do the same thing. Then you can see the pattern a and r is it's negative, positive, negative, so negative 1 to the n. And a0, 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 I mean, the, we're going to assume a0 equals 1 in a moment. So a0 on the top, on the bottom, f of r plus n times f of r plus n minus 1 all the way to f of r plus 1. And this is true for n equals, n bigger than or equal to 1. And this also works for n equals 0, so we can say this is true for all n bigger than or equal to 0. Okay. And by the way, what was what fr earlier? fr was r, r minus 1. Then f of r plus n is r plus n times r plus n minus 1. And the next factor was r n, f of r plus n minus 1. Then we get r plus n minus 1 times r plus n minus 2. Okay, and if we keep doing this, so we have r plus n, r plus n minus 1 is squared r plus n minus 2 is squared all the way to r plus 1 is squared and the very last one was f r plus 1 that would be r plus 1 times r so there is only r okay now this is the a and r okay uh, regardless of r and we have found two values of r from this initial polynomial r was 1 and 0 and we want to find the first solution with respect to the bigger root 1 so at r equals 1, let's find a and r. So a n at 1. So replace r throughout by 1. So we have this, which is in fact 1 times 2 squared times 3 squared all the way n squared and n plus 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4 all the way to n. n factorial and 1, because 1, we can always multiply by 1. 1 times 2, 3, 4 all the way to n plus 1, n plus 1 factorial. So that's how we get a n for all n bigger than or equal to 0 and we assume this stop a not equals 1 at the same time now once we have a n then the first solution this was the solution we assumed we replace a n by this now and r by 1 so n plus r n plus 1 so we have the first solution in closed form here we go now we want to find the second solution in the closed form since the difference of two roots 1 minus 0 is a number natural number then the second solution has this form a y1 y1 is a first y1 is the first solution ln x plus x raised to r2 times this number and cn r2 means these cn constants depend on r2 and x positive or we can ignore this and write down the absolute value okay where this a constant a is found by this limit limit of r minus r2 r2 is 0 in our case second root r2 a n r n is this uppercase n is the difference of two roots in our case that's one here okay one minus zero so this should be uh, a n r Okay, that's a and c and r these constants are given by this derivative r minus r2 a and r this is lowercase n general a and r and evaluated at r equals r2 r2 is 0 so let's find it then a is given by limit of r going to r2 which is 0 r minus 0 a 1 r uppercase n that's the difference of two roots a 1 r and what is a 1 so this is a1 in terms of r so for that we have to go here a1 so when we take n equals 1 then we have just negative 1 to the 1 which is negative 1 and we are taking a not 1 so nothing and just for 1 so we get just r uh, uh, f r plus 1 so r r plus 1 sorry r r plus 1 Okay, for a1, r was in fact negative 1 to the 
an just negative one and a naught that's one f of r r plus one sorry and f of r plus one was r plus one times r okay and this r from the formula r and r cancel and plug in r equals zero we get one over one and negative one so a is negative one okay now we need to find these cns and cns are found using this formula uh, okay cns if we go up a little bit th this is how we find cns so we need to find the derivative of r minus r to a and r this a n is the general a n's and once we find the derivative we evaluate it evaluate at r equals r2 so let's work inside first let's find r minus r2 a and r so for c and r r minus r2 a and r r2 is zero second root our second root is zero so just r and a and r is given by this formula we derive this now we can take a naught equals one and this is the case now the bottom uh, let's say this is just g and r just for simplicity this is g and r where g and r is given by this and we can now find the derivative of g and r divided by g and r that's given by this sum of these fractions r plus n to the one power so one over r plus n now this product becomes sum two over r plus n minus one etc so this is the uh, this comes from using this fact when a function is a product a bunch of functions factors product of bunch of factors having these exponents then when we find the derivative of this function and divide by itself then the exponent over first factor plus the exponent over second factor etc so we used this fact to find the derivative of this not the derivative derivative divided by itself so we have this okay now next CNR is given by derivative of R minus R2 A and R. So we just found this inside part. Okay, and R2 is zero. So now second inside is this, because we are uh, assuming G and R is this, so one over G and R. Now let's find the derivative. We can pull this constant outside, negative one to the N outside. It's like one over Y and, or one over U when we find the derivative of one over u that's negative one over u square times u prime right general so we get one over g n square times g n prime okay that's the derivative of one over g n r and this and we have to evaluate at r equals zero r equals r2 later okay uh, let's write this uh, in this way now we have negative one here negative one times negative one to the n so negative one to the n plus one there is a negative means negative one and let's write g n r over g g n prime r over g n and g n is square so one and one and we have found this ratio using that trick okay outside negative one to the n plus one this fraction was found earlier if you go a little bit up here okay and that's now here and one over g and r okay g and r was just a product we assumed here and we have to evaluate everything at r equals zero okay now let's plug in r equals zero so we get one over n two over n plus one all the way to two over one and here r equals zero we get this and if we have if we assume this parcel nth parcel sum kind of, of harmonic series hn is 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 all the way to 1 over n and s0 is just 0 by the way by convention if we assume this then we can write this as 1 over n plus 1 over n minus 1 plus 1 over n minus 1 so 2 over n minus 1 means 1 over n minus 1 plus 1 over n minus 1 and next term would be 2 over n minus 2 so 1 over n minus 2 plus 1 over n minus 2 so and then 2 over 1 is 1 plus 1 so 1 plus 1 half plus all the way to 1 n 1 over n that's h n and 1 plus 1 half all the way to because we had two copies of n minus 1 so 1 over n minus 1 that gives h 
of n minus 1 and in here that's 1 2 3 4 all the way to n n factorial again 1 2 3 4 all the way to n minus 1 n minus 1 factorial okay that's the cn okay and they depend on second roots second root r2 obviously so these are cns now we go back and find a second solution that is negative a sorry a a was negative 1 so we found y1 x ln x plus 1 okay there was a parenthesis x raised to r2 x raised to r2 x raised to 0 which is 1 and that's cnr and xn where y1 is the first solution so we found closed forms of solutions